but anyway, uh, my country was mentioned in a negative way, and I'm a diplomat. So if I want to return back home, I'm still in safety, <laughs> and uh, with my job there, so i obliged to say a few words about that. At uh, first, because it was completely false. It just shows a total lack of knowledge and understanding about one of the most vibrant and lively democracies in the world, which is Brazil, in which freedom of speech is a non-negotiable value. And it is now adopted by society at large. And uh, in fact, when I, in name of the Brazilian government, present this kind of idea here, I do that on the understanding that in Brazil, both the civil society, the private sector, the academics, they are all in agreement with that because one of the main drives of our government is to have broader consultations and inclusion when defining national governmental positions. So I would recommend you to uh, please uh, get informed about Brazil before making this kind of assumption. Now, as I'm having the floor, there's <laughs> something else that I would like to say, uh, which is, uh, yeah, there was also mentioning, there was, it was also mentioned that uh, um, perhaps I misunderstood, but that I was proposing replacing ICANN by some kind of a top-down approach led by government. I never said that. In fact, we are at the GAC. I am vice chairman. I am, in fact, very active within the government advisory committee because we believe in a multi-stakeholder model and we want to work together with all the stakeholders to improve it. We are only aware that there is a deficiency in that model in, with what refers to the representation and legitimacy of uh, government, in particular from the developing world and we want to raise that issue and get to a common understanding on how to address it. And I will not say anything can further I, because it will be better to Can I ask you, well, in the same way that I asked that gentleman, can I ask you, can you tell me just one thing that you would like to see happen in respect specifically to that, to the GAC and ICANN, that you think would help? One thing that could happen in the GAC, you mean? Well, one thing that you think could happen within the ICANN framework and its relationship with the GAC to improve it yes, sure. from your point of view. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, one of the items that are included as a benchmark against which uh, ICANN's progress will be evaluated under the joint project agreement is precisely the role of government. And uh, one of these items say that uh, the ICANN board should engage with, uh, the, with government, and in particular with GAC, to uh, elaborate further on how the interaction between the board and the GAC should, could be improved. We have seen in the past some uh, improvements, I acknowledge that, but that has not been enough, and there hasn't been a consistent and dedicated study and uh, uh, interaction between the board and the GAC on that. One first step would be to have it. Thank you.